Today we're going to be going to two different Pokemon TCG Obsidian Flames pre-release tournaments. I actually pulled a Charizard already from one of these. So we're going to do a little bit of time traveling because I went to a pre-release last Sunday. I'll be showing you guys that vlog footage for the second half of the video. But right now, in real time as I'm filming this, we're going to be going over to my favorite local game shop in the GTA, Manta Trading, and uh, play in their build and battle tournament. Before we get going to the tournament, I figured I would also share with you guys a couple of the things I'm really looking forward to when it comes to the set. First of all, I am really looking forward to playing the Tyranitar EX deck. And no, this isn't the Tyranitar in question, although it is a cool dark type Pokemon. These are just some cards I bought a while ago. So let me just flex on you guys the cards I bought recently. Tyranitar EX, an old switch featuring Lucario and Turtwig. And then I have a bunch of uh, energy cards because I like to play with the retro kind of uh, energies. Besides Tyranitar EX, the actual electric type Pokemon, Pokemon which we will be uh, trying to build a deck for. I'm also looking forward to playing Charizard EX. This is gonna be a really fun deck that potentially could be the new best deck in format. Two other decks I'm looking forward to playing. We have a Rev of Room EX. So I'm looking forward to playing Rev of Room because if you don't know, I played Zacian V and so I have a lot of cool blinged out metal type energies right here. I'm excited to play a metal type deck once again. The last deck I'm looking forward to playing is a Glamora. Glamora, Glamora EX deck, which is going to be using these older uh, Ascension Glamets. Kind of like a toxic deck, very similar to Galarian Coughing and Galarian Wheezing, which are played at the Toronto Pokemon Regional. So, for the common question of the day, I know we just started, but what decks are you looking forward to building from this set? And if you don't play, you can just say you don't play and that you just collect too. That's always fun. I'll meet you guys over at Manta Trading. So we're here at Manta Trading now, and it turns out that this pre-release I'm about to attend might be the biggest pre-release event I'm ever going to attend. There's gonna be 40 players oh in total, so I'm curious if I'll be able to come out on top. It's gonna be three rounds, I believe, and if you go undefeated, you get a bonus pack. Cleffa, very cool. I'll show you guys the starter deck and all the cards that come with this one here. We got Cleffa right here with the grasping draw attack. This card is actually really, really good. And we got some trainer tips. We got a bunch of energies here. Lots and lots of energies. I'm not gonna bother counting how many that we have, but there's a lot. You can trust me on that. We got a Numel, okay. Oh, it looks like we got the camera up deck. My friend played this one at the other pre-release that you guys are gonna see at the second half of the video. Yo, everyone's pulling heat. I can hear people really, really excited right now. So hopefully we can walk around and see what people pulled. We've got Nest Ball, Nest Ball, Toxel, 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 Toxtricity. We got Soul Rock, Professor's Research, Youngster, Youngster, Nimona, Miriam, an Audino, and a code for the Build and Battle Kit. <laughs> what is it? Charizard. <laughs> All right, so the girl across the table from me just pulled a full art Charizard. So that's nuts. That is nuts. Four packs of Obsidian Flames. Let's see what we're able to pull. We got pack number one, the Varum, Salandit, Electric, Larvitar, Floatzel, Umbreon, Lapras, Ooh, Buffalant Reverse, Numel, and a Togekiss Hollow Rare. Second pack, we got Dragonite on the cover for this one. See if we can pull Dragonite either in this video. All right, we got Magnemite, Eevee, Toad School, Houndor, Screen, Gumshoes, Pupitar, Time Pull, School Vet. Oh, that's so cute. And a Scizor. Oh, that's a sick art for Scizor. And the Scizor art rare is what I'm also on the hunt for too. All right, Tyranitar pack art. Let's see if we can pull Tyranitar from this pack. We got Litwick, Audino, Charmander. There we go, very playable for the Charizard deck. We got Dratini, Skarmory, Wugtrio, Darmanitan, Houndor, Haldean, Claude Sire, and oh yes, there we go. Tyranitar EX full art from the Tyranitar pack. Exactly what you want to see. Might be able to play it. Last pack, can we get back-to-back -back bangers? 
I don't know if we're gonna play Tyranitar, but if we can, that'd be pretty sick. All right, we got Crabrawler, Casper Kid, Clefairy, Town Store, very good stadium. Take it out of your bulk. Kangaskhan, Whiskash, Floatzel, Doom, King Gambit, and a Absol EX. Yo, our box was actually pretty cracked. So our best two pulls were the Absol EX and the Tyranitar EX. Now we're gonna lay the deck out. I'll show you guys what the original 40 looks like. And then we're gonna put all the extra cards that we pulled from these booster packs into the 40 card deck. So here's a look at the base deck of the 40 cards from the initial pack. And now we're gonna mix in my cards in three, two, one. Here we go, round number one of my Obsidian Flames pre-release tournament vlog. We have the Full Art Battle. We got Tyranitar EX squaring up against a Charizard EX Full Art. Not a matchup I was expecting to see at all today. Very close matchup against a new player who did end up making a small misplay which cost him the game, so I got the W. Number two, we had Absol EX do all of the heavy lifting for this matchup, carrying me throughout the entire game, making easy work of the Char Cadets that never got to evolve into Armor Rogue and it was an easy W. On to round number three, we played against another new player, and this time they had a Toxtricity carrying them throughout the match. I didn't get to set up my Tyranitar EX, unfortunately I prized it, and I made some small misplays as well, which cost me the game. So I took the L, and now let's open up the three bonus packs we get for completing the tournament. Our final record was two wins, one loss. Let's save the, let's actually save the Charizard pack for last. Let's start with the Revaroon. Haldane Wooper, Weasel, Smoliv, Varoon, Armor Rouge, Among Us, Seismitoad, Ooh, Paldean Wooper, Pupitar, and a Claydol Hollow Rare. On to the Dragonite pack up next. We got Lichonk, oh, amazing art, oh my gosh. We got Barboach, Wiglet, Squilvet, Trevenant, Electros, Flamigo, Vulpix, Lapras, ooh, and a Toxtricity Hollow Rare. Final pack for this video before we get to the next tournament. Oddish, Swablu, Glimmit, Tadbolt, Malamar, Crumbig, Bellibolt, that's, so, that's a funny art, man. We got Gloom, Dynamo, and oh, Scizor. Next up, we're here at the Upper Hand in Mississauga. This is for our second pre-release tournament of the vlog. And at the same day this tournament went down, there was a Pokemon League Cup. And it was the biggest League Cup in like Canadian history. There was a lot of top players in attendance, including the winner of the North American International Championships, Cyrus Davis, along with the top four player, Rowan Stavenaw, and some other top players like Zach Lesage. So this was a very stacked cup. I'll have a tournament vlog coming up on the channel very soon, but for now, Watch me struggle to open the Obsidian Flames pre-release or build and battle kit. And let's see what we're able to pull from these packs. I kind of forget. We got a Odzino and a Darkrai Hollow Rare. All right, on to the second pack with Dragonite on the cover. And I gotta say, I said this before, but they did Dragonite dirty, man. They gave us such a beautiful Evolving Skies alternate art, uh, but they don't have a cool artwork for Dragonite V, unfortunately. But we do got Revo Room. Yeah, look at that. Boom, Revo Room. Let's freaking go. The One of the most expensive uh, cards in the set. We managed to pull it on our second pack ever of Obsidian Flames. And these are the actual first four packs I've ever opened up for Obsidian Flames because I didn't go to uh, Manta's like midnight pre-release event that they did. Ooh, Lechonk, oh my gosh. I love this Lechonk too. And a Cloth, okay. Okay, that's a W of a pack. Let's go. The Lechonk is really cute, but unfortunately it's not playable. But yeah, that card is gonna look beautiful in the binder, sleeping next to my Tyranitar alternate art from Battle Styles. All right, last pack before we get to some of my friends' booster packs, because when I go to these events, I have some really awesome friends who really like, they, they let me, they genuinely let me open up their packs. Uh, so I, I obviously don't get to keep the cards, of course, because it's their packs, but they let me open up their packs for content. So if you're a friend of mine who lets me open up their packs on video, I really appreciate you. Drinks on me, homie, drinks on me. All right, we got Charmeleon, Grievard, Herdier, Skullvillian Hollow Rare. Now the thing is, I feel bad when I'm not able to pull them heat because, you know, it's like they're, they're letting me open up their packs and then I'm disappointing them by not pulling them heat. 
but uh, at the same time, there's times where I do pull them heats, and then I like to take the credit for it. So it's kind of a <laughs> kind of a, a give and take, you know. But at the end of the day, it's always fun opening up these booster packs, especially with your friends at pre-release events. I highly recommend you guys go to them. It's way more fun than just opening up packs by yourself in your room uh, because when you have friends around you, whether you get good pulls or bad pulls, it's going to be a fun experience regardless. It's kind of like a team thing, you know? Everybody's opening up packs all together, hyping each other up, and you know, it's just a really fun experience. So again, pre-release events, I highly recommend. Even if you're a new player, you can learn at these events too how to play. All right, so here we go. This is going to be the deck that we got from this build and battle kit. Now, the decks have also been really good. Previously, they were kind of mid, but these days they include some really decent staples, which if you are thinking about playing the game, maybe even in a more casual sense where you just go to locals every now and then, they're including cards like Nest Ball and some really good supporter cards. These are cards that you're genuinely going to use in a lot of actual competitive decks. So you're gonna get your money's worth out of these uh, pre-release events. Not only do you get the packs, but you also get a fun experience. I like to think about it as like, hey, if you're gonna go to the movie theaters and spend like 12 or $15 for two hours, or you can go to a pre-release event and spend, well, like 30 bucks, you get four packs, you get a fun two hour experience as well, and you get some cool pulls of, uh, of cards that haven't even come out yet, and you get to hang out with your friends rather than just going to the movies. Uh, anyways, I do love the movies. This video isn't sponsored by card shop, <laughs> card shops doing some propaganda against the movies, but I do love going to the movies as well. Um, there's a lot of great movies out right now. All right, and that was the build-in battle kit. Next up, this is the deck building process. So if you guys don't know, you get a 40 card deck uh, for the pre-release tournaments. Usually it's going to be a 60 card deck when you're actually playing in the standard format. But for pre-release events, it's a modified kind of event. So it's a 40 card deck instead of 60. And then for prizes, you usually have to take 60, or sorry, you have to take six prize cards in order to win a game. In a pre-release event, you have to take four prizes. So it's not as long of a game. Uh, it's The games are faster paced. It's uh, very punishing if you don't attach energies per turn because those are very important. And the really fun thing too, is that at these events, you get to play with cards that you don't normally get to play with on a normal basis because they're just not seen as competitively viable. So if you wanna get some fun memories out of some cards that you're probably never going to see again, you might throw them into your bulk binder or you know, just never see these cards again, like Toxtricity, for example, or, uh, or Cloth EX. These are cards, these are, these are moments in time where these cards can shine and actually put in work for you where they otherwise wouldn't. Now let's get into the actual tournament gameplay, starting off with round number one. So for round number one, unfortunately, there was an uneven amount of players, so I got a free win and a round one buy, which meant I got to uh, relax and watch my friends play and judge them, literally, and also drink some Mountain Dew. On to round number two, we are playing against Michelle Lesage, Zach Lesage's wife. If you guys don't know Zach, he's one of the most well-known players in the Pokemon community, and he was actually playing in the Pokemon Cup tournament. I actually played against him round number two or three, I believe, for this tournament. You'll see in the vlog, and Zach Lesage ended up winning the full cup. So I'm playing Michelle because she got knocked out of the tournament like I did and it was a really fun close game using cards that I like I said earlier we wouldn't see uh, in competitive play I had cloth EX become one of my MVPs for the matchup and she had the togekiss evolution line with palfin and Michelle ended up taking the W making our record now 1-1 now on to round number three against Sergio the friend who let me open up his four packs at the start of the video. And by the way, we're opening up a bunch more packs after this round where we actually pulled the Charizard. So you're gonna wanna stick around to see that. This was a fun matchup as well against Sergio. He was using a deck that revolved around Camerupt, which has a very unique attack where you discard the top cards of both of your decks. And if there's any energy, you do an extra 100 damage. Like, dang, that is a lot of damage. Unfortunately, I had my boy Clough EX come in clutch, destroying all the camera ups with ease. So it was a fun, fun day for Cloth EX. But now let's get to the three bonus booster packs you get for competing in the pre-release events outside of the four that you get from your build and battle kit. We have a Cryogonal, and me fixing the camera, a Togepi, a Bonsly, Dolive, Masquerain, Gumshoes, a Pupitar, Extra Drill Reverse, Clefairy Reverse, and a clay doll. And also, shout out to Sergio, who gave me the Clefairy actually, to give to my girlfriend. I will be actually going to Pittsburgh with him for the Pittsburgh Regionals. I'm excited to do that fun road trip with the homie. We haven't done a road trip together. And he's one of the friends I've met through Pokemon. I actually befriended him at a Pokemon tournament a few uh, few months ago. All right, next pack, we got Palafin, 
and a Phantom. Shout out to any Phantom and a Greedent EX. Not a great card. <laughs> I'd rather build a cloth deck than Greedent. And let's get to the final pack for Sergio's three packs. And then we're going to get to mine where we pull a beautiful, beautiful Charizard. You're going to want to stick around for that. But here we go. We got a Zigzagoon, a Scyther, Melton, Char Cadet, Frogadier, Drampa the Grandpa, Sharpedo, Crab Brawler. Ooh, Charmeleon, that's a nice reverse holo. And a Palafin. Let's start off with the Rev of Room pack art to kick things off. I am in the process of building a Rev of Room deck, so that should be coming out maybe in a week or so. But we got Togetek, Volcarona, a Poltergeist, Glamet, followed by a Rowlet, I love this artwork, and a Clay Doll. That Clay Doll too is cursed. Next up, we have the Dragonite pack art of Obsidian Flames. Can we pull the Charizard? from this pack that would be crazy let's see if we can do it we got a larvesta made out of clay a rowlet bunnelby a small of taking a nap houndoom Granbull, two dogs in one pack, Malabar, Chandelure, a third dog, Houndstone, and oh, Charizard EX Full Art. Look at that. Wow. Wow, that is a sick, sick Charizard. Oh my gosh. I've never pulled a Charizard before at a pre-release tournament, so this was definitely a nice core memory to have in my Pokemon, uh, Pokemon memory bank. And let's get to this last pack. Can we do better than the Full Art Charizard? We'll find out together. But if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you guys check out my North American International Championship vlog they'll be on screen right now if you click that you're gonna have a fun time watching that grab a snack though grab some water and i will catch you guys in that video what, what is it charizard <laughs> what?